Praise the Lord, children. Lord, our God, our Savior, our Protector, our Guide, the Creator of the whole world who cleanses our sins and He is always with us. For His love and mercy, we ought to praise the Lord always. Children, we must always have the belief that we can, that is you can. Yes, never give up your effort in any of the circumstances. Try your best to achieve and take the next step because you can. So it is an important word you have to remember all throughout the life to pass on all the barriers in your life that I can do this with the help of the Lord. So children, always keep it in mind, you can. Welcome back to the social class children. We are learning geography, the lesson industries. So in the previous class, we have started the lesson and we learned what are the economic activities, basic economic activities. Before entering into today's class, let's recall what we have learned so far. We are learning geography, the lesson industries. The previous class, we have learned what is an industry first. What's an industry? Industry is a process by which the raw materials are changed into finished products. So many raw materials are available in the nature, we couldn't use them as it is. So they have to be processed a lot. So that processing of converting raw materials into finished product is known by the name manufacturing. That manufacturing was taken in the place industries. And we learned about what are the basic economic activities. What is an economic activity first? Any action that involves in the production, distribution, consumption or services is an economic activity. And what are the basics of economic activities? Three major basics of economic activities are there. Primary economic activities, secondary economic activities, territory economic activities. The territory economic activities are further divided into quaternary and quinary economic activities. What are primary economic activities? They are originated at the very beginning of human life and it involves more physical work. That is the people, they have to go to the field and do that work. That is forestry, grazing, hunting, food gathering, mining, quarrying, etc. And even doing agriculture. They are called as the red collar job workers. And next, secondary economic activity. Secondary economic activities are those that change the raw material into useful products through processing and manufacturing. For example, the car factories, the man they are manufacturing the metals into cars or vehicles. And the batteries, they are converting the flour into there is a bread and some other sweet items like that. And territory economic activity are those that provide the essential services and support to the industries to function. So it is also called as a service sectors, which include transportation, utilities, education, housing, medical care and other services. So territory economic activities are known as the service sector and the service sector is one of the largest sector in India. Currently the sector is the backbone of our Indian economy and contributing about 53% for the Indian GP, GDP. GDP means gross domestic product. And quaternary and quinary activities are the sub subdivisions of territory economic activity. Quaternary economic activity, it is associated with the creation and transfer of information, including research and training. And they are called as the information industries and they will play a dramatic growth as a result of the advancement in technology in science and electronic field. For example, we are all watching television by sitting in our home, but the pro programs are telecasted from the television station. And the culinary economic activity are the one, the high level decision making process by executives in industries, business, education and government. The top executives are officials in the field of science and technology, universities, in government sector, in healthcare sector, in law and order sector, they are all comes under the gold collar job, that is the culinary economic activity. And in our home, who are the executives? Parents are the executives. But for a state, who are the executive? That is the CM under the Council of Ministers. And for a country, PM under the Council of Ministers at the parliament level, they are the executives. So these are the things we learned in the previous class. Shall we enter today's class, children? Yes. This class we are going to see what are the factors responsible for location of industries. Factories cannot be established at anywhere. If we have to consider a lot of factors, we have taken into consideration so many factors 
for the location of an industry so what are the factors important factors responsible for location of an industry shall we see that yes the major factors that affect the location of industry are land labor capital raw material market power availability water resource availability and transport facilities so so many factors are there we have to consider for the location of an industry so they are classified into geographical factors and the non geographical factors first we will go to see what are the geographical factors let us see the geographical factors that affect the location of an industry two factors are there one is a geographical factor and one is a non geographical factors under geographical factors the first one is a raw material raw materials means the picture shows you that what's a raw material and how it is converted cotton is a raw material from that what is we get we get the cloth and wood is a raw material which is available from the nature and it is converted into furnitures different furnitures so raw material is the first factor we have to choose for the location of an industry some of the industries need bulky raw materials for example iron and steel industry for preparation of a sheet of iron they need lot of tons of iron ore so they are bringing bulky raw material and some raw materials are weight losing raw material they are like for sugar industry the basic raw material is sugar cane it is a weight losing one after within 2 or 3 days of harvesting it has to be crushed and the juice has to be extracted but if it take long time for the transport it the juice content will be evaporated so bulky goods and weight losing materials cannot be transported for long distances therefore industries like iron and steel and sugar industries they should be located near the availability of iron ore and sugar cane and steel plant in salem is an existing example which is located near kanchamalai because iron ore is available lot like the sugar cane industries are located near the sugar growing areas so the first geographical factor which affect the location of industries is raw material especially the industries which need bulky raw materials and weight losing raw materials they should be located near the places where there is the availability of raw material next geographical factor for location of industry is the power power means is not manual power it is electricity why is electricity essential for an industry yes to generate and convert the sources like coal mineral oil and water into power for for the working of the electricity the working of the machinery is electricity is must so power is also one of the important factor to be considered for the location of an industries so power is one of the important factor for the location of a industry power there is electricity it is generated from coal mineral oil and water and as one of the sources must be located near the industries to fulfill its power requirement so industries they need power for generating there is rather for the working of their machineries so the power is available from coal mineral oil and water so industries must located near the places where these sources for power are available to fulfill the power requirement the third geographical factor taken into consideration for the location of industries is the labor so labor means the workers those who are doing the work at the factory or industry are known by the name labors so labor is important for doing the proper manufacturing process in the industries so the two type of labors are there skilled labors and unskilled labors skilled labors are very important for industry such as diamond cutting industry some specific industries so that industry should be located near the place where the labor source is available a lot some industries like tea plantation diamond cutting they need lot of labors and availability of cheap labor and skilled labor especially for the labor intensive industries are one of the important factor that should be taken into consideration so for three geographical factors we have seen raw material power and labor the next geographical factors that affect the location of an industry is transport transport is very important for carrying bulky raw material to the industry and to take the finished product from the industries to the market transport is must for the location of an industry no industry can function properly without the support of the transport 
so an industry should be located where proper transport facilities are available for bringing the raw materials to industry and sending the finished product to the market cheap availability of transport is very important so to transfer the bulky raw materials cheap availability of transport is very important for the bringing raw materials and also for sending the finished goods to the market so the industries are better located at the junction points of waterways especially where the harbors are located <coughs> for uploading and downloading of the uh, cargoes comes through the waterways and at a junction point of roadways or a junction point of railways should be the centers of the industry so the fourth geographical factor that affect the location of an industry is transport transport is must for bringing raw material to industry and sending the finished product to the market so junction points of waterways roadways and railways are the better centers of industry so the fifth geographical factor that affects the location of industry is the storage and warehousing so the industrial owner bought raw materials made resources for power he appointed laborers and he got all the transport facilities the processing of raw material finished product was over conversion of raw material into finished product was over he couldn't sell all the produce products at the same time so what we have to he has to do he has to store it in some good places which are known by the name storage and warehousing so facilities of storage and warehousing is also an important factor that affect the location of an industry so storage and warehousing is very important because the finished goods should reach the market at the end of the process of manufacturing and it should be stored in a suitable storage or warehouse till the goods are taken to the market so storage and warehousing is also one of the important factor which is need for the location of an industry the next geographical factor which affect the location of an industry is topography have you heard the word children topography look at the picture it clearly says you what are the different topographies available on the earth that is some places are terrain some places are mountains hills rivers lakes valleys and plains so the factory which should be located the play, based on the raw material for example tea factory mean it should be located near the hill station because hill stations only there is a tea plantations are there and some other industries which are using lot of water they must near located near the places where there is a water water source is there so some industries they must need lot of space mean they must located in the plain surface so topography is also one of the factor which affect the location of an industry the site that is selected for the location of an industry should be suitable for the industry site means the place which is selected for the construction of industry should be flat surface or with lot of modes of transport etc so topography is also one of the important factor for the location of an industry the next important factor for the location of an industry is climate so look at the map children the all the continent continents of the world each continent has different climate some are a tropical climate some are a temperate climate some are the very hot regions some are cool regions some are cold regions so based on the product and the climate needed for the production of the product the industry should be located so climate is also one of the important factor which affect the location of an industry so climate of the area selected for an industry is also one of the important factors for the location of an industry extreme condition is not suitable for successful industrial growth if it is too cool or too hot then it is not suitable for the location of an industry some industries they need specific climate for example if you take cotton textile industry it requires cool humid climate because the spinning of the cotton into yarn the cotton is spun into yarn the cool humid climate only it makes the spinning process without any breakage that's why in coimbatore and tripur we have lot of cotton textile industries that to both places they have the very cool humid climate so climate is also one of the important factors that affects the location of an industry the eighth geographical factors which are needed for the location of industry is water resources the availability of water is another important factor for the location of industry what are the sources of water children yes look at the picture ponds rivers lakes streams oceans etc other sources of water so an industry should be located near the places where water resources is available 
availability of water is another important factor that influences the industrial location that's why many industries are established near rivers canals and lakes for this region especially iron and steel industry textile industry and chemical industries they require plenty of water for their proper functioning so they should be located near the places where the water resources are available so so far we have seen what are the geographical factors that affect the location of an industry let us see some of the non geographical factors that affect the location of an industry so the first non geographical factor which affect the location of an industry is availability of capital capital means not the capital of a state or country in industrial term in commercial term capital means the money required for doing the business activities so capital or huge investment is needed for the establishment of industries without which no industry can be established to think it off to buy the raw material to acquire the power supply to pay for to the labors and for using the transport and for using storage and warehousing and making the building buildings for the industry for doing everything the invest the businessman must need a money so capital is one of the non geographical factor that affects the location of an industry the second geographical factor is the availability of loans as children all the people they not have enough money to start an industry so the investor who wanted to start a industry he must seek loan so government or non government organizations to provide loan is required for a location of an industry so geographical factors first one is the capital that is the money required to run the business second one availability of loans the next non geographical factor is the government policies and regulation the government doesn't allow anyone to start any industry as their own wish the government policies also an important factor that influence the industrial regulation the government sets certain restrictions for the allocation of land for industries because they must take into consideration the control of excessive pollution reducing regional disparities avoiding the excessive clustering of industries in big cities so the policies also government policies also affect the industrial location so there are three non geographical factors which affect the industrial location they are capital availability of loans and government policies and regulations so children in this class we have learned what are the factors responsible for location of an industry because industries locations are complex in nature and they are influenced by availability of many factors so we have learned two important factors what are they geographical and non geographical factors under geographical factors we have seen age they are raw material power labor topography transport storage and warehousing climate and water resources so these eight geographical factors are important for location of industry and non geographical factors are capital availability of loans and government policies and regulations children go through the class carefully understand the concept and read the portion what is taught in this class because reading makes you to understand well reading is a good habit also so keep up that habit and answer all the questions given in the homework page and do the activity also which is given along with this thank you children dear children may god bless you all dear children with his grace and knowledge thank you babies have a great day